Good morning. In Genesis chapter 41 and verse 4, we read, The ill-favored and lean-fleshed kine did eat up the seven well-favored and fat kine. Pharaoh's dream has too often been my waking experience. My days of sloth have ruinously destroyed all that I had achieved in times of zealous industry. My seasons of coldness have frozen all the genial glow of my periods of fervency and enthusiasm, and my fits of worldliness have thrown me back from my advances in the divine life. I had need to beware of lean prayers, lean praises, lean duties, and lean experiences, for these will eat up the fat of my comfort and peace. If I neglect prayer for never so short a time, I lose all the spirituality to which I had attained. If I draw no fresh supplies from heaven, the old corn in my granary is soon consumed by the famine which rages in my soul. When the caterpillars of indifference, the canker worms of worldliness, and the palmer worms of self-indulgence lay my heart completely desolate and make my soul to languish all my former fruitfulness and growth in grace avails me nothing whatever. How anxious should I be to have no lean-fleshed days, no ill-favored hours. If every day I journeyed toward the goal of my desires, I should soon reach it. But backsliding leaves me still far off from the prize of my high calling, and robs me of the advances which I had so laboriously made. The only way in which all my days can be as the fat kind is to feed them in the right meadow, to spend them with the Lord in his service, in his company, in his fear, and in his way. Why should not every year be richer than the past in love and usefulness and joy? The only way in which all my days can be as the fat kind is to feed them in the right meadow, to spend them with the Lord in his service, in his company, in his fear, and in his way? Why should not every year be richer than the past, in love and usefulness and joy? I am nearer the celestial hills. I have had more experience of my Lord and should be more like him. O oh Lord, keep far from me the curse of leanness of soul. Let me not have to cry, my leanness, my leanness, woe unto me. But may I be well fed and nourished in thy house, that I may praise thy name. 